The second night of the draft is in the books, and here is your here's your update for Raw. Hold on, hold on. You know the you know the best way to do this is just go through what the ending rosters are. That's in, what I'm doing in the in the top. Yeah, but not just a bunch of names. I actually have this all broken down. So let me just do this. So so for Raw um, on the baby face, this is this is the end result of what we got. Okay, the Raw baby face headliners as far as the top main eventers are biggie and edge edge is a part-timer the heels are bobby lashley and seth rollins so those are going to be the two top contenders for biggie's championship as long as he's the champion there's a few others on the next level down the women um the key women on the baby face side are going to be bianca belair and alexa bliss and the heels are going to be becky lynch obviously is number one and then nia jackson perhaps carmella the tag team, um, you know, the uh, champions are Orton and Riddle. Got the Street Profits. By the way, did you hear the Street Profits were almost broken up? I did not. Yeah, they were. Um, um, uh, Montez Ford was always going to Raw, but they were thinking of leaving Angelo Dawkins on SmackDown and breaking up the team, which blows my mind. But, you know, I mean, they broke up. I don't know if you noticed this, but they broke up every single women's tag team except for the champions. So there's like only one women's tag team left in this company, and they're the champions. So I don't know what that means. Um, so then, uh, yeah. So the the heels you got Otis and Chad Gable, AJ Styles and Omos. You know, um, Bobby Roode and Dolph Ziggler as a team there, and Shelton Benjamin and Cedric Alexander theoretically as a team. Uh, women's team. There's only one left in the company, so they're on the raw side, but they can defend against. SmackDown people, but there's no SmackDown women's tag team either. Uh, then the next rung down on the babyface side, Keith Lee, if he's a babyface, Ray and Dominic Mysterio, who could be a tag team, but the last we heard they were, Ray said that they weren't going to be a tag team, although they've been doing nothing but tag teaming for the most part, or, or Dominic having Ray in the corner. Kevin Owens and Finn Balor are new, so that's interesting. On the other side, uh, Apollo Crews and Commander Aziz together as a pairing. John Morrison, Karrion Cross, and Miz if he ever comes back, which he probably will. But he did. He's been in Dancing with the Stars. Did it's so weird how um, they're pushing, like they they push that they want him back, but then they're telling people to vote for Miz because they want him to do well at the same time. So it's kind of weird. So the other women baby faces are Tegan Knox, who I think got her name back, um, Liv Morgan, Dana Brooke, who is still on, on the roster, uh, as we saw tonight, and Dewdrop. And then on the women's heel side, you got Zelina Vega, Mia Yim, if she is a heel, which I have no idea, but she is on SmackDown, and Tamina, who is no longer part of the tag team. And then the other... Baby faces are Drake Maverick. If he is, in fact, a baby face, the last time I saw him on, on uh, NXT, he was, and it's impossible to tell on Raw since he's going against Reggie, but he still seems to be a baby face. R Truth, who is a baby face, but also going against Reggie and Reggie. And on the other side, you got Tozawa, T Bar, Jackson Riker, and Veer. Veer has to fend for himself. And Austin Theory is going to fit in there somewhere as well on the Raw side, on the heel side, obviously. Um, I would say he's going to feud with Jeff Hardy, but that's probably going to be at a one-week feud because Jeff Hardy's on the other side. So on SmackDown, you literally have two headliners, Roman Reigns and Drew McIntyre. So evidently, they're probably going to feud. Uh, the women's side, the there's no top woman babyface on SmackDown, so I'm figuring that Sasha Banks becomes a babyface because the other two top women stars are Charlotte Flair, who absolutely shouldn't be a babyface, and Shayna Baszler, who appears based on how she's being booked, is not a babyface. And since Nia Jax is on Raw, she's never getting her revenge on Shayna Baszler, like for at least a year, or maybe on Thanksgiving, if she comes back by then. Uh, tag teams... Uh, there's a lot of male tag teams on the babyface side. The New Day, Kingston, Xavier Woods, Hit Row, Mansoor, and Mustafa Ali, and the Viking Raiders. The heel side, you got obviously the Usos, Angel Garza, and Humberto Carrillo, and Jinder Mahal and Shanky. Uh, other babyfaces of some note, Jeff Hardy, Nakamura, 
Rick Boogs, who's with Nakamura, and Cesaro, and then heel side, Happy Corbin, Sheamus, Sami Zayn, and perhaps Madcap Moss, other women, um, baby faces, B-Fab, Naomi, Tony Storm, and Shotzi, and heels, Aaliyah, Natalia, and Zia Lee, and then um, I got Ricochet as a prelim baby face, because you need some of those, and on the heel side, he's the only one, you got Drew Gulak, Mace, and Ridge Holland, who obviously is probably being groomed for a higher spot. But it is interesting that Ridge Holland, who was the one thing that, that um, watching NXT was, is that he wasn't really ready for NXT television, but Kyle O'Reilly could carry him to like an acceptable match. And now he's on the main roster. So there you go. Um, and B-Fab, who actually had that incredible match on Tuesday, is also on the main roster. So um, undrafted is Asuka, Bailey, Elias. Remember Elias? He was going to come back and he's going to win championships. Yeah, never saw him again. Yep. Eva Marie, Grand Metalik, Lince Dorado, MVP, uh, Titus O'Neil, and Harry Smith. And um, both rosters can go anywhere they want. I would say that's Brock Lesnar, Bill Goldberg, John Cena, and if he ever comes back, Shane McMahon. So that's the lineup. So it looks like SmackDown on the headliner side is exceedingly weak. If Roman Reigns gets through Drew McIntyre, um, your next level of guys is Sheamus and, and Happy Corbin. I mean, um, no, that's, that's, no, no, I mean, those are heels. But um, the next level guys would be Nakamura and Jeff Hardy. So. Yeah, the SmackDown headliner side is very weak. Um, the women's babyface side is very weak. Uh, Raw has a little bit more to deal with. There's a lot of tag teams. And that's pretty much it for, for, the, for the roster. Um, yeah, I think if you really look at that SmackDown, I mean, you've know, you got Roman Reigns who's going to carry the brand. And I guess they feel Charlotte Flair will carry the brand, too, but she doesn't have any opponents. Um, unless they go with the... Uh, I mean, I guess you could do something with Tony Storm. Um, I mean, you could. It just, I've never seen any like inclination they want to. Um, you could do something with Naomi. Uh, you could not do Charlotte Flair and B-Fab. <laughs> oh, my God, would that be something? Um, I guess you could always do something with Natalia. Um, but, you know, that would always be a short-term thing because they've never really, at this stage, I mean, Natalia's just been there to put people over. So, um, I don't know, the deal, you know, with uh, the women's tag team, it's like they broke up every women's tag team. That was, uh, I mean, Shayna and um, Naya, who sort of already split up. Uh, Natalia and Tamina um, split up tonight, although they didn't know it, but they, in fact, did. And uh, Tegan Knox and Shotzi split up tonight. Although, I don't know if the, I'm sure they didn't know it either. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work. Working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.